ready to get underway in this kind of unusual setting here, but one that we're probably all too familiar with lately. Um, we're encouraging everyone to turn on their cameras so that if you feel comfortable, so is. that we can see each other. Um, put yourself on mute, please. How do we do that? We're going to get underway here in a few minutes and start recording in about one minute, just so that we have that ready. Oh, it looks like Lynn already started, so we're about ready to get underway here. And welcome. everybody to please mute if you have not yet muted please mute um, we'd also love to see you guys so if you want to turn on your camera um, if you're feeling comfortable enough to do that that would be great um, just so that we can see each other in this very unusual setting um, and and then we'll go ahead and we'll probably get underway here in about a minute Is what are you drinking? I'm drinking a Chardonnay in like a red wine glass, you know, a glass intended for a red wine, but Wait. it's the biggest, it's the biggest glass I could find, so that's why. <laughs> but um, anyway, welcome you guys. I'm Denise Pulverine. Please um, put your cameras on if you're comfortable um, and keep yourselves on mute. And uh, then I'm going to turn this over. Thank you for joining us, but turn this over to our president, Amy McGann. So go ahead, Amy. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amy McGann, as Denise said, uh, president of the Press Club of Cleveland, coming to you live from beautiful Rocky River, Ohio. And I'd like to welcome you all to the 42nd annual All Ohio Excellence in Journalism Awards presented by the Press Club of Cleveland. Even though we can't be together tonight, I'm delighted to share in the excitement of this special evening as we recognize the best of the best in Ohio journalism. Normally I would pause here for applause, but I'll keep going. Before we move on, we wanna thank all of you for making this event possible. We're here because of your talents. Nearly 600 entries were received this year and narrowed down to the top 200 plus by out of state press clubs and other professionals in the media industry. You should know that the winners are all well-deserved. So congratulations to everyone here. We would also like to thank Falls, our presenting sponsor for tonight's event. Falls will also be the presenting sponsor for our next Behind the Headlines program, which will be a Zoom event as well on August 27th at 7 p.m. featuring a conversation about the Cleveland Indians with Bob DiBiasio, Senior Vice President of Public Affairs for the Indians and Cleveland.com Indians beat writer, Paul Hoynes. The panel will be moderated by WKYC sports anchor and reporter, Nick Cimino. So look forward to that. Look for some more information about that. So, um, and I would like to turn it over now to Rob Falls, president and CEO of Falls, our presenting sponsor for this evening. Rob? Just a reminder to everyone real quick um, to mute. Please make sure you're muting. Go ahead, Rob. Okay. Um, it's a pleasure to be with everybody uh, today. Um, actually, it's interesting because it's the first time I put a tie on in about five months. So I just I just don't want to be you know uh, showing up by uh, by uh, by Russ and Sam. So, but um, I want to thank Russ, Sam, Press Club of Cleveland for the opportunity to say a few words. Um, on behalf of Everywinter Falls, we're honored to be tonight's sponsors uh, of tonight's event. We are, for those of you who don't know Falls, we are a 31-year-old agency based in Cleveland. We have about 80 professionals. We began as a media PR firm, but then added marketing, digital, and advertising. 
Uh, my personal roots were in um, journalism, just like most of our, our, not most, but a lot of our people on staff, uh, including Christy Carlson, who sits on the board of the yeah, uh, press club. And that's not me. I, I'm not throwing my voice. Um, our firm has been involved with the Press Club of Cleveland for a lot of years. Uh, I've also been a member of the Detroit Press Club when I worked in Michigan, and then the National Press Club in Washington when I worked on Capitol Hill. Um, I gotta tell you, I love the title, Excellence in Journalism. I uh, can't think of a time that we needed excellence, quality, honesty, uh, unbiased reporting, uh, of the professional journalists more now than before. So, somebody's doing a backyard barbecue, but I'll just continue. Um, Rob, I'm going to jump in for a second. Can we please ask, I'm just going to ask everyone to go in and hear Rob's remarks. Would you, if you're not uh, speaking right now, will everyone please mute? A picture of ice. Everybody do that for us, please. All right, Rob, I think we're, we're, we're going to do the best we can there. Thank yeah, you. Rob. Okay, yeah. Well, it's summertime and everybody needs a cocktail, so I, I understand. Um, Thank you. Uh, journalistic accuracy, reporting the facts, the thoughtful editorials, and yes, the human interest in the human triumph stories have been kind of a lifeline for us during this pandemic. Um, the media is providing us with the connection to the truth in our world, our country, and our individual communities. Um, Actually, I can't think of a better way to spend a Friday night than to help honor all of you who do so much for all of us. Uh, and that's from the heart. Um, just a couple of thank yous and I'll move on. Uh, to all the journalists, thank you for correcting all the misinformation that's out there and continues to be. Thank you for trying to do the best you can to maintain your professionalism in the face of verbal assaults, ignorant insults, bad behavior and outright racism. Thank you for always listening before you write, post or talk. Thank you for continuing to ask the tough questions on our behalf because it's so frustrating watching it on TV. And thank you for the excellence we're celebrating tonight. As I said, we need you now more than ever. As long as we have a free press, we'll have a free country. And that is so important to realize right now. I want to congratulate the winners, and I want to congratulate everyone who showed up tonight to dedicate themselves to a noble and needed profession. So on behalf of Falls and actually a lot of the public relations people, uh, we want to applaud the journalists. Thank you so much. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate that, and thank you so much for your firm's generosity in uh, presenting tonight's event. I'd like to remind okay. everyone here that if you are not a member of the Press Club, then you overpaid to enter the awards uh, tonight, members automatically receive a discount on excellence in journalism entries. As a member, you also receive discounted admission to press club programs and social outings, and we are allowed to socialize. For more membership information, please check out our website at pressclubcleveland.com. Also, we would like to remind you to please celebrate yourselves and each other on social media, and if you, or when you do, please use the ha hashtag pressclubcleve. It's Press Club CLE. Finally, emceeing our program and announcing our award winners are Russ Mitchell, Channel 3 News anchor and executive editor for WKYC, and senior writer at Cleveland Scene right. Magazine, Sam Allard. So I'm going to turn it over to them, and we're going to get to why we're all here tonight. Sam and Russ. Madam President, thank you very much. I'm Russ Mitchell with Channel 3. We want to welcome you to our event this evening. I uh, hope you're at home enjoying yourself, having a cocktail. It's Friday night or whatever. You know, floats your boat and get set to, to listen to us, give out some awards, and good luck to all the, the nominees tonight. Just going to remind folks one more time, if you are not part of the conversation, uh, please mute your, your Zoom account so we can get through this. And again, thank you for being here tonight. Sam and I are pleased to be your MCs for the evening. So let's get some to some awards. The order of this evening's program is going to be familiar to those who have been to this, this event before. We're going to begin with student-run media, then on to open and visuals. Then we'll move on to business and trade publications and magazines. 
will then cover television, radio, daily and non-daily newspapers and photography before we wrap up by presenting the best of Ohio awards. Mr. Allen, how are you this evening? Doing well, Russ. I certainly have a cocktail here. I hope you do too, over in the studio. <laughs> uh, no, they don't. They, diet, diet Coke is all they let me have these days. So. Fair enough. Fair enough. In the studio, uh, anyway. <laughs> just a note to those attending that uh, the judges' comments and a complete list of the winners will be available on the Press Club's website uh, shortly after this ceremony. Uh, and all the awards that we present tonight will be delivered uh, in the following weeks. And uh, Amy has assured me that uh, even if the United States Postal Service crumbles uh, as a prelude to voter suppression, I think we have a fleet of carrier pigeons available to uh, <laughs> deliver those awards if necessary. Uh, I know that I'm just just tickled pink to be here, and I'm excited to uh, kick off these awards. Um, this shouldn't last longer than five to six hours, so uh, I think it's I think we're. <laughs> What did you say, Russ? Midnight or 12.30 is the final <laughs> sign-off? Yeah, it's 12.30 Sunday morning, I believe we said. Okay, excellent. Great. Then let's get underway uh, for a nice, long, fun evening here. We're going we're gonna to start with the student-run media category. So without further ado, Lynn, yeah. let's hit those student-run media awards. I need a little help. Just press that forward button. Boom. There we go. All right. To start the breast print newspaper story from a two year trade school uh, in third place. That's the Arc Center helps fight mental health stigma by Quentin Parton of Lorain County Community College. Congratulations. In second place, Gun on East Campus by Diamond Hunt of Tri-C. And in first place, Coping with Anxiety Issues in Classrooms by Oscar Rosado of LCCC, Lorain County Community College. Congratulations. On to the best print sports story from sure. to your trade school. In third place, is it too early for Browns fans to hit panic button? Tri-C students weigh in. That's by Justin Spansky of Tri-C. In second place, Junior colleges offer benefits for transferring athletes. That's by our friend Quentin Pardon of Lorain County Community College. And in first place, volleyball team comes up short in tournament play. Quentin, I beg your pardon from LCCC with a clean sweep there. All right. On to the best print feature story from a trade or two-year school. In third place. International student cross border for his U.S. education. That's by Jan Giese of Lorain County Community College. And in second place, LCCC students bring typewriters back to life. They certainly do. That's by Madeline Hill, also from LCCC. And in first place, stop the vaping, save the living. That's by Quentin Parton of Lorain County Community College. All right, Quentin. Superstar in the making. All right, best radio podcast news story from a trade or two-year school. In second place, the Dabble Podcast, episode on journalism. That's Jim Lanigan, Lorain County Community College. And in first place, career exploration podcast, the episode So You Want to Be in Broadcasting. That's Janet Lee, also from Lorain County Community College. And finally, the best online report from a trade and two-year school. In second place. College offers ways to prevent cardiovascular disease. That's Jane Giese, Lorraine County Community College. And in first place, Facts and Concerns of Internet Addiction for Students and Youths by Wellington De La Vera from Lorraine County Community College. Congratulations to all our student winners. All right, now for the open category and technology writing. Third place, this lab is all about the crash, Dan Eaton. Columbus Business First. Second place, Inside the Rise and Fall of Everything But the House, Can Ohio's Hottest Startup Rebound? Alexander Coolidge from the Cincinnati Inquirer. First place, Bold Penguin, Putting People First. That's by Katie Smith, Columbus CEO Magazine. Now we go to medical health writing. Third place, Stressful Home, Harder Hearing. Elaine Girgian, hope I'm saying that right, Northeast Ohio Medical University. Second place, a surgeon's victims wait for justice. That's from Jim DeBras, Cincinnati Magazine. And first place, 
Hold on Hope, Carrie Ghost, Columbus Business First. Now to lifestyle. First place, The Simpsons, Danny Green and Moe's Tavern, A Tale of Cleveland History, Mark Bona, cleveland.com. Move on now to politics and government writing. Third place, Beachwood Mayor, forgiven unanimously by counsel. That's by Jane Kaufman of the Cleveland Jewish News. Second place, the cost of business incentives. Kim Palmer and Jay Miller, Crane's Cleveland Business. And in first place, down but not yes! out. In <laughs> Congratulations, down but not out in East Cleveland, Jordan Heller. I am Mohammed. No worries, no worries. <laughs> mute your phone now. No, mute, mute your YouTube your now, but congratulations. Now, uh, data journalism or data journalism, however uh, you wish to call that. Third place, now we know why the state did not want us to see this data. Daryl Rowland, the Columbus Dispatch. Second place, closed doors. Sid Stanler, the plane dealer. And first place. Investigation, blacks, black neighborhoods, most likely to be traffic stop targets in Ohio's three biggest cities, Lucia Wallenschus, Max Lundberg, and Michael Nagaris. Congratulations to you. I apologize, Michael. General news column, third place, a bathrobe for my mother, Bob Dyer, Akron Beacon Journal. Second place, no, we are not fine. Amelia Robinson, Daily, Dayton Daily News. And first place, actions speak louder than words. Regina Brett, mm. the Cleveland Jewish News. Sports column. Third place, where is John Dorsey? Maria Rittenauer, Akron Beacon Journal. Second place, Tiger Woods, implausible and unequal triumph at the 2019 Masters, Bill Livingston from cleveland.com. And in first place, today's players have it right, show the emotion, save the bean balls. Ryan Lewis of the Akron Beacon Journal. Time now for business column. Third place, unfortunate experience will hopefully help others. My friend Betty Lynn Fisher of the Akron Beacon Journal. Second place, NCAA finally succumbs to reality with athlete endorsements decision. Doug Buchanan, Columbus Business First. And in first place, a heartbreaking end for the Vindy and its hometown, Elizabeth McIntyre, Cranes Cleveland Business. Now, headline writing newspapers, daily and non-daily. First place, hands off, dance off. Studio owners get creative when teaching orthodox couple. Bob Jacob, Cleveland Jewish News. It's in first place. Congratulations. Headline writing, all other publications. Third place, Jack Hits Road, Hard Rock Rolls In, Matthew Hall, Soapbox, Cincinnati. That's exciting. It's a guy reading the awards. Oh. I, I think it's exciting as well. I, I think it's incredibly exciting. I'm glad you do too, but I'm going to ask you to mute your, you know, to, to mute your Zoom. So... You don't say anything bad about me that I can hear it. So very cool. Is that cool? Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Where am I? Second place. It's Coaster. Not just some guy. It's Russ Mitchell, for God's sake. Wow, <laughs> some some guy. It's some guy. It's all good. It's all good. Some guy. There we go. Where are we now? Second place. Kosher poultry honoring religious tradition in the slaughter. Kathy Ames Carr, Edible Cleveland. And in first place. Finding the Goo Goo algorithm for babies to reach their first ba birthdays, Roderick L. Ingram Sr., Northeast Ohio Medical University. Now for headline writing online. First place, with growth plans brewing, Aegeus looks to former Starbucks executive, executive to fill president's role. That's by Lois Bowers. Now reviews, criticism. Third place, Movie review, Jojo Rabbit, Chuck Yarborough, The Plain Dealer. Second place, the band's visit to an unforgettable production of a most unlikely Broadway show. That's Bob Abelman of the Cleveland Jewish News. 
First place, Toni Morrison documentary, Questions What It Means to Be a Foreigner. That's by Brittany Marielle Hudak of CAN Journal, CAN Journal. Now to the single essay category. There we go. Third place, A Dozen Years with Bob Iver, Joel Oliphant, Columbus Alive. Second place, Analytic or Interpretive, Personal Point of View, Caring for Our Refugees, Julie Altman, Northeast Ohio Medical University. First place, Dark and Light, Recovering from Alcohol and Drug Addiction, Jeremy Umansky and Daniel Lozada, Edible Cleveland. Obituary, third place. Final Dispatch from the Comics Reporter, Tom Spurgeon, 1968, 2019. Andy Downing, Columbus Alive. Second place, Remembering the Life of Morton L. Mandel, 1921, 2019. That's Jane Kaufman, Cleveland Jewish News. And in first place, Marion Spencer, segregation fighter who later served on Cincinnati City Council, dies at 99. Mark Kernut, the Cleveland, um, pardon me, the Cincinnati Inquirer. Now for single editorial, third place. Tattooing over scars helps with trauma, healing. Kentucky's ban of loss and that control. Bonnie Jean Feldkamp, the Cincinnati Inquirer. Second place, opioids in focus. Scott Sudo, Crane's Cleveland Business. And first place, sexual harassment of girls starts during middle school. It's Bonnie Jean Feldkamp, the Cincinnati Inquirer. Analysis. Second place, border wall is nothing compared to Brexit crisis and what it reveals. That's Richard Perloff of The Plain Dealer. First place, after Epstein, Dave Ghosts, Columbus Monthly. Now, food writing. Third place, Minerva Dairy Slow Churned, Small Batch Amish Butter. That's Karen McKenna and Kathy Ames Carr, Edible Cleveland. Second place, Ohio Barley, Crafts a Comeback, Dan Eaton, Columbus Business First. First place, and this sounds interesting, the Pepperoni Kings of Columbia, Columbus, Jill Moorhead, Columbus Monthly. Travel writing, Amtrak from Cleveland to Chicago, a relaxing ride despite middle of the night departures, late trains. That's Susan Glaster of The Plain Dealer. And first place, traveling with mom, also Susan Glasser, The Plain Dealer. Congratulations to all the winners in those categories. Russ, you're, you're quite good at this. Well, I, I, I'm working up to go from some guy to that guy. So I'm going to hopefully yeah. that I'm, I'm, that's my next move. Yeah, you should consider doing this for a living. <laughs> uh, we now move on to the visuals categories. Uh, we'll begin with the single cartoon. In first place, right off the bat, the J&J opioid settlement is a bitter pill for families of the addicted. That's Rich Williams of Crane's Cleveland Business. In the illustration single image category, in third place, case closed. That's Joanne Walsh of The Plain Dealer. In second place, what lies beneath the Fernal Preserve. That's Darren Hopes of Cincinnati Magazine. And in first place, as the economy grows, so do doubt. That's Andrea Uccini and David Kordalski from Crane's Cleveland Business. On to infographics. In first place, here's why Cincinnati is susceptible to landslides. That's Michael Nyerjez of the Cincinnati Inquirer. In the single page design tab category, in third place, as the economy grows, the economy grows. so do doubt. So that's David Kordalski and Andrea Uccini from Crane's Cleveland Business. In second place, underinsured in America. That's David Kordalski from Crane's Cleveland Business. And in first place, U.S. death tax levied on Dayton. That's Stephen Valentine of the Cleveland Jewish News. On to the single page design for a magazine. In third place, money. That's Betsy Becker of the Columbus Monthly. In second place, Simply Syrup. 
Stephen Valentine of the Cleveland Jewish News. And in first place, Columbus Parent Family Faves 2019. That's Elise Pasternak from Columbus Parent. In the category of A1 News Front Daily and Non-Daily Newspapers. So front page news design looks like. In third place, Cleveland Jewish News. That's the staff of <coughs> Jewish News. <laughs> in second place, we've got A1 for the Cincinnati Business Courier. The courier. Designer was Kevin Knox from the Cincinnati Business Courier. And in first place, Crane's Cleveland Business Front Pages. That's David Kordalski from Crane's Cleveland Business. On to the spread or multiple page design. In third place, Festival of Lights Foodie Challenge, Frying Up a Storm. Storm. That's Stephen Valentine from Public Jewish News. In second place, Zoo Goes Big. That's Kevin Cox from Cincinnati Business Courier. And in first place, Did You Know 2.0. Once again, Kevin Cox from the Cincinnati Business Courier. All right, on to a spread or multiple page design for magazines. In third place, High Hopes. That's Betsy Becker from the Columbus Monthly. In second place, Ohio History Hotspots. That's the Northeast Ohio Design Staff from Northeast Ohio Parent Magazine. Congratulations. And in first place, All Rise. That's Rosie Heilman and Melissa McKellen from Edible Cleveland. All right, on to the covers. Fun ones here. These are covers for General Circulation Magazine. In third place, uh, the issue was Be a Tourist in Your Own Town. Brittany Dexter and Jeremy Kramer from Cincinnati Magazine. In second place, ooh, good one, Hidden Columbus. That's Betsy Becker once again from Columbus Monthly. Just fabulous design there, Betsy. And in first place, Cleveland Magazine May issue. That's the 25 best restaurants issue to Maria Amador from Cleveland Magazine. Cleveland Magazine is just doing fantastic designs all year. All right, on to the covers for business publications. Publications. In third place, In third place. retail shakeout opens unexpected doors. That's our buddy David Kordowski from Crane's Cleveland Business. In second place, High Retail. Retail. That's Yogesh Chaudhary from Columbus CEO Magazine. And in first place, one year later, a clear view of tax reform takes shape. Once again, David Kordowski from Crane's Cleveland Business. Congratulations, David. Uh, finally, we've got covers for trade and professional publications. In third, place, in third place, the fall 2019 cover for Ignite Magazine. That's David Saleh and Elaine Gregian from Northeast Ohio Medical University. In second place, uh, it's Ignite Magazine again, this time their spring 2019 issue. Uh, designer was yes, Elise Radzielowski from Northeast Ohio Medical University. And in first place, Building the Future. Sure. That's the fall yes. winter 2019 issue of HB Magazine. Uh, designer was D DJ Reichel from Hathaway Brown. Congratulations to our visual winners. Now we want to go to business publications, general news. Third place, restaurant industry coverage, Dan Eaton, Columbus Business First. Second place, business of real estate, Stan Bullard, Cranes Cleveland Business. And first place, Cuyahoga River Reborn. Michael Von Glan, Dan Shingler, Stan Bullard, and David Kardowski, Cranes Cleveland Business. Features, personality profile. Is this Chris's greatest catch ever? Steve Watkins, Cincinnati Business Courier. Second place, Gene Roberts, Wide Reach, Andy Brownfield, Cincinnati Business Courier. And in first place, Joy Bivens, Saving Franklin County. Katie Smith, Columbus CEO Magazine. Now to Features General. Third place, Growth Brewed In, Andy Brownfield, Cincinnati Business Courier. Second place, Insurance Will Never Be the Same, Root Shoots Up, Carrie Ghost, Columbus Business First. And in first place, Artfully Diverse, Right Place, Right Time, Right Women, Emily Bench, Columbus Business First. Features, Package, Third Place, 
The Business of Beer 2019. Jeremy Noble, Cranes Cleveland Business. Second place, How Northeast Ohio Became Northeast Ohio. Rachel Abby McCaffrey, Cranes Cleveland Business. And in first place, Cuyahoga River Reborn. Michael Von Glan, Dan Shingler, and Stan Bullard, Cranes Cleveland Business. Features Trends, Business of Beer 2019, Jeremy Noble, Cranes Cleveland Business. Second place is Legit Script Certification Process to Crack Down on Bad Online Ads Working. That's Tom Valentino, Behavioral Healthcare Executive. Category and I didn't win anything, so I've still got daily newspapers. So. There you go, and congratulations to you. I'm going to ask you to, to, to please uh, mute your Zoom, but once again, congratulations. In fact, I'm going to say that once again to everyone. If you could please uh, mute because uh, we can hear you when, when you don't. But thank you very much, and, and congratulations to you, whoever that was. Okay, where are we? First place trend. Here we go. First place, states make a big play on betting. Steve Watkins, Cincinnati business courier. Now, to public service investigator, the cost of business incentives, Jay Miller, Kim Palmer, Michael Von Glan, and Lee Chilcote, I hope I'm saying that correctly, Cranes Cleveland Business. Second place, Columbus's eviction crisis. That's Tristan Navarra, Columbus Business First. First place, how to make it, advice from four women. Chloe Teasley, Columbus CEO Magazine. Now to departments or columns. Third place, tips from the top. Michael Fuhrer, Smart Business. Second place, building stronger communities. Jane Guest, Smart Business. And first place from the CEO, Fred Curry of Smart Business. Sam? Thanks, Russ. Uh, you know, before we go to the great publications, we should consider uh, when we get back to the House of Blues in uh, three or four years or whenever we get a vaccine, we should do like we do here on Zoom and have someone roving to the tables to shut people up whenever they talk. We can really kind of move things along. I like that idea, the, the constant commentary. That's really nice. But it's, yeah. it's fun. It adds, it, adds, it adds to the color of the evening. We totally get it. This, this, we live in a bizarre world, and we've all been caught on Zoom saying things that perhaps we didn't want to say, or at least saying things at the, at the wrong time. So no worries. Just enjoy yourself. But at please least, put your, uh, your yes, and at least you and I are clothed right now, Russ. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone. You got yes, it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, let's go on to trade publications here. Uh, to start, we're uh, in the features category, uh, the general features here. In third place, 100 Years and Counting. That's Kathy McCarran from Tire Business Newspaper. In second place, I have an idea, HB Magazine, <laughs> Kendra Davis from Hathaway Brown. And in first place, taking control of stinking thinking, that's Elaine Gregian, Northeast Ohio Medical University. On to features trends. In third place, Goodyear finds traction with soybean oil. I see what they did there, that's David Manley, from the Tire Business newspaper. Second place, the high cost of sugar. That's Elaine Gregian and Samantha Hickey from Northeast Ohio Medical University. And in first place, hidden costs, how bias harms patient care and how doctors should respond. That's Jeffrey Bendix from MJH Associates Incorporated. All right, on to departments or columns. In third place, the editor's column from Lois Bowers of McKnight's Senior Living. In second place, going back to the future with Ziegler, pet peeve, pet lover, what's best? That's Don DeTore from Tire Business Newspaper. And in first place, humanities in medicine column, living in poverty, when I realized. And that's Renee Brumbaugh from Northeast Ohio Medical University. All right, on to the trade report category. In first place, impact on imports. That's Bruce Davis from Tire Business Newspaper. And finally, features uh, for special sections or a special package. In first place, 
Humanitarian of the Year. And once again, that's Don DeTore from Tire Business Newspaper. Take it away, Russ. I respond to some guy now, Sam, but yeah, no worries. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that. Now, general circulation magazines, news, third place, the battle for the octagon, Chris Gayton, Columbus Monthly, second place, those who serve, Sheehan Hannon, Cleveland Magazine, first place, Fallen Angels, Suzanne Goldsmith, Columbus Monthly. Public service, investigative, first place. How much are you overpaying in property tax? Lucia Wallenschutz, Lucas, youth student. I'm so sorry, I know I messed that one up. Samanda Rowdens and Aston Nichols. They are with eye on all hands, congratulations. Features, personality profile. Joy Bivens, Saving Franklin County. Katie Smith, Columbus CEO Magazine. Second place. Cake Stand, Sheehan Hannon, Cleveland Magazine. And first place, Jasmine's Escape, Suzanne Goldsmith, Columbus Monthly. Now to Features General, third place, The Defining Decade, Columbus Monthly Staff, Columbus Monthly. Second place, Welcome to the Family, Kelly Peterson and Sharon Best, Akron Life Magazine. First place, A Light in the Darkness, Lisa Murtha, Cincinnati Magazine. Congratulations to all in that category. Now to Features Consumer. Third place, High Hopes, Chris Gayton, Dave Gose, Suzanne Goldsmith, Emma Frankhart Hederly, Columbus Monthly. Second place, Legends of the Land, Jason Brill, a proud member of the Cleveland Press Club Board and the staff of Cleveland Magazine. First place, Rise of the Makers, staff, Cincinnati Magazine. Features art, third place, Art House, Sheehan Hannon, Cleveland Magazine. Second place, Maggie Smith Keeps Moving, Laura Ehrenshield, Columbus Monthly. And first place, I, like the pen, am filled with ink, James Bigley II of Cleveland Magazine. Now to the food category, yes. Burger Madness in third place, G.A. Benton, Nicholas Decker, Aaron Edwards, and Chris Gayton, Columbus Monthly. Second place, in praise of the potato, Jane Kaufman, Cleveland Jewish News. And in first place, 25 best restaurants, Kim Snyder and the staff at Cleveland Magazine. Now to sports. First place, Will McKinney's Way, Chris Gayton, Columbus Monthly. Departments or columns, third place, The Dish, the staff of Cleveland Magazine. Second place, The Modern Mama, Christy Eckert, Columbus Parent. And in first place, welcome to Can Journal. That's Michael Gill, Can Journal. Sam? Thank you, Russ. Thank you, We're Russ. now to the digital media category. Uh, and once again, a reminder that Russ and I were not given pronunciation guides before this evening's presentation, so we are winging it in terms of your names. So, you know, hopefully they have uh, traditional phonetic spellings. Otherwise, you know, it's, uh, it's anybody's guess here. Big apology. <laughs> All right, digital media. Uh, this is newspaper or website. I beg your pardon, newspaper website. In second place, cjn.org. That's the staff of the Cleveland Jewish News. And in first place, www.bizjournals.com backslash Cincinnati. That would be the staff of the Cincinnati Business Courier. All right, best website for uh, radio news. In first place, WKSU.org. That's the staff of WKSU. Then the best television news website in first place, fox8.com. Jessica Bates, Kara Sudiak from WJW Fox 8. On to the magazine website in third place, canvasclee.com. Once again, that's the staff of the Cleveland Jewish News. 
in second place, smartbusinessdealmakers.com. And that goes to the staff of Smart Business. And in first place, cincinnatimagazine.com. And that goes to the staff of Cincinnati Magazine. All right, in the category of breaking news, single story. In second place, one worker remains critical, other worker driver stable following University Heights crash. That goes to Bob Jacob of the Cleveland Jewish News. And in first place, Morton L. Mandel dies at age 98. That's Bob Jacob of the Cleveland Jewish News. In the category of breaking news series, in second place, San Diego Chabad shooting coverage. That's Bob Jacob, once again, from the Cleveland Jewish News. And in first place, Cleveland's Stipe Miocic regains UFC heavyweight championship. And that's Matt Florjancic from WKYC. And the category of social media use in third place, Cleveland Jewish News election results on Twitter. And that's the staff of the Cleveland Jewish News. In second place, it's the Fox 8 Extra with Stephanie Schaefer. Jessica Bates and Kara Sudiak are the award recipients from WJW Fox 8. And in first place, WKSU. That's the staff of WKSU. Congratulations. On we go to online storytelling. In second place, what's in store for Beachwood Place? I know I'd like to know. That's the CJN staff again from Cleveland Jewish News. And in first place, East Cleveland's Million Dollar Dump. That was by Nick Castell of IdeaStream. And really a fabulous story. If you haven't read it, please, please do read that. <laughs> Indispensable reading there. Okay, in the category of infographics, first place. Cincinnati Explained 2.0. That's Kevin Cox of the Cincinnati Business Courier. In the podcast category, in third place, episode 152, Cleveland Sports Biz Headlines with Kevin Kleps. That's Tom Valentino and Travis Uli. The Nail in the Coffin, a Cleveland sports podcast. In second place, Amy Should Be 40. That's Phil Trexler and James Renner from WKYC. And in first place, what had happened was, that's Amelia Robinson from the Dayton Daily News. Congratulations. All right, in the online general news story category, in first place, Rexville City Council asks fellow councilman Jack Petschke to resign, threatens impeachment due to bids on municipal jobs. That's by Bob Sandrick from Cleveland.com. In the online feature story category, in third place, Cleveland's Johnny Gargano rises to pro wrestling stardom. That's Matt Florjancic from WKYC. In second place, making it, Jeff Haynes, Jean Marie Papoy, Lisa Ryan, and David C. Barnett from Idea Stream. And in first place, Ohio River Stories series. That's Lucia Walinchis, Ryan Schnur. Bonnie Feldkamp, and Jeff Brooks Gillies from I on Ohio. In the blogs category, in third place, older adults, images, reality don't always match. That's Lois Bowers from www.mcknightseniorliving.com. In second place, what's brewing? Jeremy Nobile of Cranes Cleveland Business. And in first place, the Business of Sports blog. That's by Kevin Kleps, the one-man show at Crane's Cleveland Business. Man, he owns the sports business beat over there. What a reporter. All right. In the analysis category, in second place, big senior living stories of 2019. That's Lois Bowers from McKnight Senior Living again. And in first place, single payer has become a campaign buzzword that by 2020 may become a buzz saw. That's Richard Perloff, of the Plain Dealer. And we're moving on to the television categories here in news. Third place, Recycling or Rubbish. That's Ed Gallick, Peggy Gallick, mm -hmm. Darcy Ayers, and Billy Muhammad from Fox 8. In second place, 2019, Exposing Travel, Trash, and Terrible Hires. That's Scott Knoll 
WEWS Channel 5. And in first place, Separated. That's by Janelle Bass Hawthorne, Chris Reese, and Zinga Blake, and Stephanie Philo Jones from WJW Fox 8. In ongoing coverage, in third place, security breaches at Cleveland Hopkins Airport. Ed Gallick and Andy Fishman from WJW Fox 8. In second place, secret deals behind speed cameras. That's Peggy Gallick, Ed Gallick, and Brian Gruden from WJW Fox 8. And in first place, 2019 Crisis in Corrections. From Scott Knoll, Rob Klein, Mark Ackerman, and Sean McGarvey from WEWS TV5. Oh, no. Wait a minute. That's Yay, that's up. <laughs> if you could mute, folks, that would be great. We're moving on to uh, public service category here. In first place, environmental reporting by Olivia Fecto from WEWS Channel 5. Congratulations. In the human interest category, in third place, Aging Out. That's by Janelle Bass Hawthorne, Chris Reese, and Zinga Blake, and Stephanie Philo Jones from Fox 8. In second place, Echoes Second Chance. That's Megan Mitchell and Robert Busby from WLWT TV. And in first place, Amanda Berry Reunites with Charles Ramsey by Carrie Young. Amanda Berry and Andy Fishman from WJW Fox 8. On to sports report or commentary. In second place, Fox 8's Friday Night Touchdown. That's Nick Kovach, WJW Fox 8, son of Press Club board member Carol Kovach and recent Hall of Fame inductee. Uh, in second place, or I beg your pardon, in first place, The Miracle League of Lake County by Tim Dubrovets and Bill O'Connell from Idea Street. All right, uh, this is the television show category. <clears throat> in third place, let's talk Cincy, art and survival. That's Alexis Rogers Wilson, Curtis Fuller, Robert Busby, and Austin Maynard from WLWT TV. In second place, 10 years later, Amanda Berry meets with Hero Who Rescued Her. That's Andy Fishman, Amanda Berry, and Carrie Young from Fox 8. And in first place, Orion, The New Frontier, by Mike Friend, Betsy Kling, and Jeff Rydell from WKYC. All right, best weather cast, just one winner tonight in first place, January Tempest, from Betsy Kling of WKYC. Back to you, Russ. Thank you, Sam. Congratulations to my friends here at WKYC. Congrats, Betsy Kling. Thank you for all the great work you do, and to Mike and Jeff as well. All right, that personal moment was paid for by no one, but thank you so much for indulging me on that. Now to radio, news. Second place, Willoughby Eastlake officials, parents discuss changes after failed levy. That's Taylor Haggerty of Ideastream. First place, a piece of the arsenal of democracy in Cleveland may be redeveloped. That's by Kabir Fatia. WKSU. Ongoing coverage. Again, in radio. GM Lordstown plant closure. The staff, WKSU. Public service. Second place, watershed staff, WKSU. First place, homes, Justin Glanville. Idea stream. In depth coverage. First place, deportation journeys wind through Ohio's detention facilities. That's from ML Schultze of WKSU. News writing. First place, contentious mayor's race in Barberton. That's Sarah Taylor, WKSU. Okay, let's see. With me on that? All right, there we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Human interest. That's where we are right now. Human interest. Let's go back. Human interest. <laughs> there we go. 
Explore Radio. Why is there more of a focus on treatment versus a cure for diabetes? That's from Jeff St. Clair, WKSU. All right, now to use of sound. Second place, one last performance for a special member of Ashland University Marching Band, Ella Abbott, WKSU. And in first place, Native American water walker blesses Cuyahoga River. That's Dave DiOrio of Idea Stream. Now to radio podcast show. First place, 2019, Inamori Ethics Prize recipient LeVar Burton discusses his career and advocacy. That's Mike McIntyre and Lee Barr, Idea Stream. Congratulations, Mike and Lee, a former colleague here at WKYC. Non daily newspapers. Breaking news Sam Miller. Third place, I'm sorry. Breaking news, third place, Sam Miller, former Forest City co-chair emeritus, dies at the age of 97. That's Bob Jacob, Cleveland Jewish News. Second place, Morton L. Mandel dies at the age of 98. That's Jane Kaufman, Cleveland Jewish News. And first place, Pepper Pike gas line explosion, Bob Jacob, Cleveland Jewish News. Features, personality, profile. Second place, remembering Amber Evans, Andy Dowling of Columbus Alive. Again, Andy Downing of Columbus Alive. And in first place, 18 Difference Makers 2019 Lifetime Achievement Award, Milton and Tamar Maltz. Bob Jacob, Cleveland Jewish News. Now to Features General. Third place, the disappearance of Tyler Davis, Andy Downing. Columbus Alive. Second place, Horror and History. Cincinnati's new Holocaust Museum has authentic touch. It's Bob Jacob, Cleveland Jewish News. And first place, The Lost Art of Listening, Joel Oliphant, Columbus Alive. Now to the public service category. Third place, Are We Saving Lake Erie? The Press Staff, The Press. Second place, Multiple women accuse actual brewing founder Fred Lee of sexual assault. Andy Downing of Columbus Alive. And in first place, the heights of democracy, a change in local government. Carla Rottenberg and Deborah Van Cleef, the heights observer. Congratulations. Well done. Arts and entertainment. Second place, artist Don C is cut from a different cloth. Joel Oliphant, Columbus Alive. And in first place, acclaimed conductor Alessandro Cicilline at Center of Sexual Misconduct Complaints. That's Andy Downing of Columbus Alive. Community, local coverage. Third place, Beachwood Mayor and Council Converge, Jane Kaufman and Bob Jacob, Cleveland Jewish News. Second place, Strongsville School Board may have violated sunshine laws with phone polling of members. That's Bob Sandrick of Sun News. And in first place, multiple women accuse actual brewing founder Fred Lee of sexual assaults. Andy Downing of Columbus Alive. Section, first place news. The CGN staff of the Cleveland Jewish News. Or Sam. Now to Sam, it's your turn. That's right. That's right. <laughs> We're on to the daily newspapers category. Can I tell you a very funny story, real quick? Please do. Please. I just did something that I have laughed at someone else from doing. And I used to years ago work at CBS, and Mark McEwen, who's the weatherman, and um, and Martha Stewart was guest hosting that day. And Martha Stewart had never uh, hosted a morning show before. This is the Martha and she Stewart. Was this is the Martha Stewart. She was preparing to do an interview um, with uh, the editor of um, the uh, of Time Magazine, uh -huh. and she's reading the teleprompter. And she says, "Joining us now reads this long intro." It's Walter Isaacson is the gentleman's name. She reads a long intro, and she goes, "Joining us now is Walter Isaacson. Mr. Isaacson, thanks for joining us." He says, "Thank you." And in the prompter, it said, "Mark," and she pitched back to Mark, just like that, <laughs> without talking to to to. <laughs> 
to Mr. Jacobson. So I, I just did that right there, so I will never laugh at Martha Stewart again. Carry on, my friend. <laughs> All right. Uh, man, it'd be great if we could get Martha Stewart to uh, guest uh, MC these, uh, these awards next year. But for now, uh, let's jump to the daily newspaper category. Uh, categories. First, we've got breaking news, consecutive days on the same topic. In second place, Anheuser-Busch buys Platform Beer Company, Mark Bona of Cleveland.com. And in first place, the presidential debate comes to Ohio. That's Dale Rowland, Rick Ruin, and Marty Schladen of the Columbus Dispatch. In general news, on single story, in third place, Q&A, the landmark opioid trial explained. Emily Mills from the Akron Beacon Journal. In second place, Stowe Pastor decides to continue pushing, praying for change in Methodist Church. That's Emily Mills once again from the Akron Beacon Journal. And in first place, four addresses in four months. This is what poverty looks like for this Cincinnati family. Mark Kernut, the Cincinnati Inquirer. On to general news, multiple stories on the same topic. In third place, the education beat of Patrick O'Donnell at the Plain Dealer. Hell of a reporter. In second place, elusive justice, Stephanie Warsmith and Paula Schleiss of the Akron Beacon Journal. And in first place, beat reporting on lead exposure to Rachel DeSell and Bree Zeltner of the Plain Dealer. Congratulations to you all. In the features category, we're talking personality profiles here. In third place, Happy Together by Nate Ulrich of the Akron Beacon Journal. In second place, the Chad Tuchek story, He Refused to Give Up. That's Mark Bona from Cleveland.com. And in first place, oh, what a great story, Mechanic Shifts Gear to Become Doctor by Michael McIntyre of The Plain Dealer. On to features general. In third place, oh, 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 it's magic by Craig Webb of the Akron Beacon Journal. In second place, Mercy Ships by Betty Lynn Fisher of the Akron Beacon Journal. And in first place, Ear Candling Not for Timid or Sane. That's by Craig Webb of the Akron Beacon Journal. All right, on to public service. In second place, I Promise School by Jennifer Pinolet of the Akron Beacon Journal. Apologies if I mispronounced it. And in first place, Closed Doors by Jordan Grzleski of The Plain Dealer. On to Investigative. In second place, Case Closed by Rachel DeSell and Andrea Samakis of The Plain Dealer. And in first place, Side Effects Promises Made Promises Unkept. That's by Marty Schladen, Daryl Rowland, and Catherine Kendiski of the Columbus Dispatch. In business, third place goes to Pathways to Prosperity. That's Patrick O'Donnell and Oliver Perkins of the Plain Dealer. In second place, Akron Summa Health Acquired by Betty Lynn Fisher of the Akron Beacon Journal. And in first place, Inside the rise and fall of everything but the house, can Ohio's hottest startup rebound? That's Alexander Coolidge of the Cincinnati Inquirer. In sports, third place goes to leaner Miles Garrett, still a monster. That's Nate Ulrich of the Akron Beacon Journal. In second place, Joe Burrow, an example of humanity. That's Branson Wright of the Plain Dealer. And in first place, Rocky Calavito returns to Cleveland. Hundreds turn out to meet true generational hero. And that's Mark Bona of Cleveland.com. In arts and entertainment, first place goes to Cincinnati Ballet Stories by Sharon Coolidge of the Cincinnati Inquirer. All right, in the best section category, sec second place is the sports section. And that goes to the staff of The Plain Dealer. And in first place, the arts and entertainment section. That's also the staff of The Plain Dealer. Congratulations to all our daily newspaper winners. Back to you, Russ. 
Okay, thank you so much, Sam. Photography, daily newspaper. Third place, call to duty, Phil Masterzo. Phil Masterzo, pardon me, hope I'm saying that correctly, Akron Beacon Journal. Second place, charting a new course, Karen Sheely, the Akron Beacon Journal. And in first place, confronted, Jeff Lang, the Akron Beacon Journal. Clean sweep there. Sports Daily Newspaper. Third place, Steel, Phil Mesterzo, Akron Beacon Journal. Second place, Helmet Assault, Jeff Lang, Akron Beacon Journal. And first place, Quadruple Header, Jeff Lang, Akron Beacon Journal. Another <laughs> clean sweep right there. General Feature, Daily Newspaper. Third place, Akron Pride, Jeff Lang, Akron Beacon Journal. Second place, Foam Fun, Phil Masterzo, Akron Beacon Journal. And first place, Dog Sledding Fun, Phil Masterzo, Akron Beacon <laughs> Journal. I want to party with those folks. Really nice. Congratulations. Photojournalism, Daily Newspaper. First place, NCAA's first autistic basketball player, Jeff Lang, Akron Beacon Journal. Studio photography, daily newspapers. Second place, Calamari, Phil Masterzo, Akron Beacon Journal. And in first place, make your holidays sparkle, Phil Masterzo, Akron Beacon Journal. Okay. Photography, non-daily. General news, non-daily newspaper. First place, Cincinnati Pride Parade. Corey Schaffeld, Cincinnati Business Courier. General feature, non-daily newspaper. First place, Cincinnati Zoo Director Thane Maynard. Corey Schaffeld, Cincinnati Business Courier, once again. Now sports, non-daily newspaper, non-daily newspaper. First place, first MLS home game, home goal, pardon me, first MLS home goal for FC Cincinnati. Corey Schaffeld, Cleveland Business Courier. Cincinnati Business Courier, excuse me. Congratulations to Corey. Pictorial, non-daily newspaper. First place, 2019 Blink Cincinnati. Corey Schaffeld, Cincinnati Business Courier. Student photography, non-daily newspaper. First place, once again, Corey Schaffeld, Cleveland Business Courier. <laughs> General photo, photography, all others. First place, Market Days, David Kardowski, Cranes, Cleveland Business. Portrait, personality, photography, all others. Third place, football player, Phil Masterzo, Akron Beacon Journal. Second place, 96-year-old trumpeter, Phil Masterzo, Akron Beacon Journal. And in first place, we are the obscure champions. It's Tim Johnson, Columbus Monthly. Studio photography, all others. Third place, deeply satisfying, Barney Taxel, Laurel Taxel, Edible Cleveland. Second place, Bagel Stack. Tim Johnson, Columbus Alive. And in first place, Overcomers, Rob Harton, Columbus CEO Magazine. Photojournalism, all others. Third place, Bums Saloon. It is five o'clock in this Slavic Village Bar. Shane Wynn and Dan Shingler, Edible Cleveland. Second place, meet Cincinnati's underground hockey heroes, Aaron Conway, and Damon Dotterich, Cincinnati Magazine. And in first place, where time stands still, Tim Johnson, Columbus Monthly. Pictorial, all others. Second place, Reflections on a Success Story. That's David Kardowski, Crane's Cleveland Business. And first place, Carnegie Wins Friends, Influences Development. Also, David Kardowski, Crane's Cleveland Business. Sam? All right, folks, All right, folks. <laughs> we are entering the best in Ohio category, so 
Shotgun your beers if you have them. Fasten your seatbelts. Here we go. We'll start with the best in Ohio column. In third place, Andrea Samakis, Plain Dealer. In second place, Amelia Robinson, Dayton Daily News. And in first place, Philip Morris of the Plain Dealer. Best in Ohio headline writing. In second place, Bob Jacob, Cleveland Jewish News. And in first place, William Skip Hall of the Plain Dealer. The Best in Ohio Review and Criticism category. In third place, Brittany Hudak of Can Journal. In second place, Andy Downing of Columbus Alive. And in first place, Stephen Litt of The Plain Dealer. On to essay writing, the best in Ohio, second place. Bob Dyer of the Akron Beacon Journal. And in first place, Richard Perloff, The Plain Dealer. All right, the best editorial in Ohio, in third place. The body of work of Bonnie Jean Feldkamp from the Cincinnati Inquirer. In second place, Columbus Business First, Doug Buchanan from the Columbus Business First. And in first place, the Northeast Ohio Business Editorials from Scott Suttle at Crane's Cleveland Business. All right, Best in Ohio Staff Reporter. In third place, Daniel Carson from the News Messenger of Fremont. In second place, Chris Gayton of Columbus Monthly. And in first place, John Coniglia from The Plain Dealer. All right, Best in Ohio Freelance Writer. In third place, Afi Odelia Scruggs. In second place, Lee Chilcote. And in first place, Vince Guerreri. Congratulations. All right, the Best in Ohio Cartooning. In second place, Rich Williams from Crane's Cleveland Business. And in first place, Jeff Darcy from Cleveland.com. All right, Best Ohio Illustration. First place winner is the art direction portfolio of David Kordowski from Crane's Cleveland Business. In the infographics category, first place goes to Michael Nyergis of the Cincinnati Inquirer. In the page design category, best in Ohio awards, third place, David Kordowski, Crane's Cleveland Business. In second place, Elise Pasternak of the Columbus Monthly. And in first place, Betsy Becker, also of the Columbus Monthly. Congratulations to fantastic designers all around. All right, the best photographer in Ohio. In third place, Gus Chan of The Plain Dealer. In second place, Tim Johnson, Columbus Monthly. And in first place, Jeff Lang from the Akron Beacon Journal. Take us home, Russ. All right, sir, here we go. All right, we're in the home stretch right now. Best website in Ohio, second place, CGN.org, the CGN staff, Cleveland Jewish News. First place, Cincinnati Business Courier website, the staff of the Cincinnati Business Courier. Best trade publication in Ohio. Third place, Tire Business, the staff of Tire Business Newspapers. Second place, Ignite Magazine. Roderick L. Ingram Sr., Scott J. Rutten, and Elaine Gurian, Northeast Ohio Medical University. First place, HB Magazine, Kathleen Osborne, Kendra Davis, DJ Reichel, and Vanessa Butler, Hathaway Brown. Congratulations. Best business publication in Ohio. Third place, Columbus CEO Magazine, the staff, Second place, Crane's Cleveland Business, the staff. And in first place, Cincinnati Business Courier, the staff. Best magazine in Ohio. J Style, CGN staff, Cleveland Jewish News. Second place, Columbus Monthly, the staff. 
First place, Columbus CEO, the staff. Now, the best radio newscast in Ohio. First place, WKSU News, the staff of WKSU. Best television newscast in Ohio in a major market. Second place, WJW Fox 8 News. Andy Fishman, Mark Singer, Jessica Bateman, WJW Fox 8. And in first place, 19 News at 11. Scott Carlson and Jake Corcoran, WOIO TV. Congratulations to our competitors down the street for your awards tonight. Best non-daily newspaper in Ohio, community newspaper. Second place, Cleveland Jewish News, CGN staff. First place, Heights Observer, nonprofit community news, the Heights Observer. Best non-daily newspaper in Ohio, alternatives. Second place, Cincinnati Business Courier, the staff. And in first place, Columbus Alive, Andy Downing. Joel Elephant, let's start over again. Andy Downing, Joel Oliphant, Erica Thompson, and Jim Fisher, congratulations to you. Daily newspapers, best daily newspaper in Ohio, 75,000 or less circulation. First place, the staff of the Akron Beacon Journal. And our last award of the evening, daily newspapers, best daily newspaper in Ohio, more than 75,000 circulation. First place, the staff of the Cleveland Plain Dealer. Well, that wraps up our award tonight. Sam, you worn out? I am a little bit, yes. But you do okay. it every night, so this is old hat for you. Well, I don't usually read 41 pages of, uh, of, of winners, but it has been a nice departure. We want to congratulate all the winners. Thanks for being with us tonight. It's been a, a great evening. And Sam, it's, is, it, is it post time? Uh, I believe so. But first, I think we do have some final wrapping up remarks from our president, uh, Amy McGann. We do. Thanks, guys. Fantastic job by Russ and Sam. Thanks again for all you did tonight. Congratulations again to all of tonight's winners, all of this year's winners. Uh, very well-deserved awards tonight. And thank you again to Falls, our presenting sponsor for tonight. Uh, please do consider membership in the Press Club if you're not already a member. And do watch for more details on our August 27th Zoom event that will feature Bob DiBiasio from the Cleveland Indians. So we talked a lot about muting tonight. Let's all unmute ourselves and give, our, give ourselves a round of applause. And then sign off and enjoy your weekend. Congratulations. 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 Congrats, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats, everybody. Congrats. Yay. Good job, Woo, First Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that some guy? He's really good. Unmute. <laughs> unmute. <laughs> Where is that guy? Who is that guy? I'm glad. I love that. My new name. Who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, High five, Russ. <laughs> yeah. Nice job, Amy. Nice job, Russ. Nice job, Sam. Good job. Thank, thank, you, for, thank, thank you, you for thank you for thank you for supporting us. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you all. It was a fun night. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Congratulations, all. Absolutely.